Hello everyone and welcome to this platform. Today we will review a case of a patient who presented with urinal perforation that was repaired using a Graham patch. You might already know about the Graham patch. Um, just to recap, a Graham patch is a surgical technique in which a small piece of the omentum is placed over a perforation. Typically it is used in the gastric or urinal perforation and uh, it is basically sutured at the place of perforation to seal the defect and prevent further leakage. And it can be performed either through open or laparoscopic surgery. And in this particular case, the repair was carried out through open surgery. I'll take you through the imaging before and after the repair. So let's start with the imaging at the time of perforation. This patient presented with um, metabolic acidosis on the background of chronic alcoholism and a CT scan of the abdomen and pelvis was performed with portal venous contrast. So I'll go through the images with you. On this scan you can see some free fluid around the liver. There is further free fluid in the central abdomen and also some in the pelvis. Look at the bowel loops. They do not appear obstructed at the moment. Uh, they all appear normal in caliber. Now let's go back to the upper abdomen around the liver. Do you see anything unusual? Well, you can see some gas loculi around the hepatic surface and they're kind of forming air fluid levels. There are some further gas loculi at the liver hilum. So presence of free gas and fluid in the abdomen and pelvis in the patient presenting with metabolic acidosis, obviously there is high concern for bowel perforation. And the next step is to identify the site of perforation. Well, the geodenum, particularly the second part of the geodenum, is a common site when you see free gas around the liver hilum. And that's where we would look at first. So I'll go through the normal anatomy with you. This is obviously stomach, part of the gastrojudinal junction, pylorus, D1, and then here is D2. So here you can see some free gas outside the geodenal lumen. So look at this area of the geodenum just adjacent to this gas loculus. This is the mucosal lining of the duodenum, and just in this area you can see a defect in the mucosal lining of D2. That's where the perforation has occurred and just next to it is some free gas. I'll scroll down to make it a bit easy for you to understand. So again all of this is duodenum. This is third part of the judenum. There is a gas loculus here, but this is covered by mucosa. It's not perforated in this area. But if we go back to the level of D2, look at this area. There is a perforation here. And then there is some gas outside. So this is the perforation at D2 level. And um, in the majority of the cases, when there is anterior perforation of the D2, the most common cause is a peptic ulcer. And the free fluid that you see in the abdomen was bile leakage, uh, which is obviously expected with duodenal ulcer perforation. The patient underwent surgery and the perforation was closed with an omental patch, which is called the Graham repair. And now we will look at the post-surgical CT scan. Let me bring up the images. Okay, so this is a follow-up scan after surgery and uh, we'll go through all the images again. So you can see, still see some free fluid around the hepatic surface and in the pelvis, but obviously the amount has reduced from before. However, all the previously seen free intraperitoneal gas has resolved. You do not see um, any definite gas around the liver. There is some gas in the anterior abdominal wall. You can see a loculus here at the incision site. These are extraperitoneal and expected post-surgical findings. There is some fat stranding in the anterior abdominal wall, which is again um, expected post-surgical finding. This also a bit of haziness in the omentum and mesentery. It's all post-surgical. Now let's return to the site of perforation. Again, you can see stomach D1 and then this is D2. What do you see here? Well, this is the site of perforation, isn't it? Well, you again see a bit of defect here, but this is very neat and clean compared with the defect we saw previously. This is very sharply demarcated. Is there anything else which you feel unusual in this case? Let me zoom this area for you. Do you see a 
kind of triangular blob of fat just overlying the site of duodenal perforation? Well, this thing is the omental patch. So this defect now does not communicate with the peritoneal cavity because this has been sealed off by the omental patch. It is very nicely sealing the site of perforation. There is no further leakage. So this appearance is the hallmark of a successful Graham patch repair. Um, so a little bit about the Graham patch repair. Um, this is an excellent procedure for small perforations like uh, uh, about a one centimeter defect such as in this case. Any perforations bigger than that would be more problematic. It's very simple and effective and well established method. However, there are few contraindications. One of these, like I said earlier, perforations which are large, for instance, greater than two centimeter or have extensive tissue loss. They are not suitable for Graham patch repair because the tissue would be too friable to hold the patch. Then if there is malignancy at the perforation site, that would obviously require a very different set of management. Uh, it would require a section depending upon the stage and all. And then if there is distal bowel obstruction, uh, distal to the site of perforation, again, um, the patching would not address the underlying problem. Also, in cases where, is, where there is diffuse peritonitis or delayed presentation of the perforation or recurrent perforation at the same site, these all are um, contraindications for Graham patch repair because the Graham patch repair would then become less reliable to seal the problem. And then um, another reason is um, another contraindication could be prior omentectomy. Obviously, if there is very little omentum left in the body, then, there, then it's not available to use for the patch repair. So just to summarize, this is a classical duodenal ulcer perforation case treated with Graham patch repair. And uh, I think this imaging after surgery beautifully shows this omental patch repair and very nicely sealing of the defect. Hope you found it useful. Thank you for watching. Until next time, happy learning.